uh, let's um, talk about life sciences and why artificial intelligence is so difficult to be applied to life sciences. And this is a project uh, uh, that I've been working on uh, with one of the R42 fellows. I think we, we've been working on it for about a year or so before we finally made it uh, 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 seed fundable. And the uh, you've heard of artificial intelligence in many of the presentations uh, hitherto, but there are problems in applying it. Uh, one is uh, low reproducibility. Often you can't get the data. You look, read a paper, but they won't give you the data. They won't give you the code. Uh, and then if you try and repeat the code, it will. Uh, it's too difficult to understand they, from scratch. There's always little fine details that hasn't been actually uh, uh, presented. Two, uh, even if you can understand the code, I think uh, uh, no, we heard about an example from uh, uh, Dr. Brown who said, uh, no, we, we, we just switched to graph core uh, processes and managed to speed it up. That's a different kind of skill. It's not a machine learning skill. It's a cloud computing skill. It's a computing optimization skill. And you can't actually find enough people in each of these expertise uh, levels in, who are good at biology, um, chemistry, uh, machine learning, and software engineering. They're different skills. Uh, and it used to be when we were playing around, you know, 30 years ago, you know, it's okay as an academic level, you cobble things together. And if it took you five days instead of one day, you'd, you'd make do, right? Uh, but if we actually want to make products, now it's the difference between getting a drug out in three years versus six months. Right. And so, uh, so what uh, we started working on is saying, well, how can we use some of the concepts of app stores that I'd worked on? You know, I've invented the, really the first mobile app store um, in 1999. Uh, my only problem was there were no phones that could run apps. That was my only problem at that time. <laughs> uh, there were two phones that could run apps, uh, uh, and so we had to wait 10 years for the market to catch up. But the idea here was really, could we actually make a platform where you could actually run machine learning models without writing a single line of code and so therefore accelerate science accelerate science in companies accelerate science in universities and then actually get results uh, uh, quicker um, and in a more efficient manner uh, and how would you do that um, how would you be able to collect that but also have it run on optimized infrastructure because that was the other the software engineering part is the other problem so the idea here was to create a vertical platform where you don't write a single line of code and uh again it's like the app store kind of model and you can use it uh, there's thousands of people tens of thousands of people writing machine learning libraries for all kinds of niche problems so it might be a popular problem like um okay i want to detect uh uh lung cancer, but what about prostate cancer? What about pancreatic cancer? And this is where, where you know, in my class, uh, you know, the joke about amongst us computer scientists is, you know, if you have a nephew or a niece who's going to go into medicine, uh, we, you know, our joke is, okay, that's fine, but whatever you do, don't be a radiologist, right? <laughs> because that's, you know, we're better than radiologists. Well, actually, I had a radiologist come into my class and he said, okay, uh, you know what? We haven't seen any radiologists being put out of a job yet. Uh, okay, it's great. You, you've solved the thing for the lung cancer tumor. You know, there's a thousand different cancers that we have need to do. Uh, and you know what? This is going to be good because, uh, you know, 10 years time, you know, we're with these tools, we'll be superhuman uh, compared to our colleagues in other medical dis disciplines, which will look like witch doctors, because we'll have these tools. Mm -hmm. Now, we do have to grab hold of the tools to use it. And the idea here is really to make these tools easy to use, cheaper to use, and faster to use. Because right now, if you uh, read a very intelligent paper by one of uh, uh, David's teams or Marco's teams, uh, 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 read it and I read it carefully, it's going to be take me two or three months to really replicate it. Uh, I might send Marco an email and say, can you send me the data? He said, well, sorry. Um, you know, I didn't get the consent from the papers, just for me, unfortunately. Uh, uh, and I might send uh, uh, Vittorio another email and say, can, can you send me your code? Well, it's not really usable, really, for someone else to read yet. And so it'll take you um, uh, two or three months to actually replicate it. Uh, and if you just implement it naively, 
uh, without a software engineering um, uh, specialism in computational efficiency, uh, it will take you, uh, uh, these days, it actually takes you real money. You know, it might take you a few thousand dollars to run run that program. Now, GPT-3, uh, you know, we talked, heard about Transformers and things like that earlier, um, you know, famously took $16 million to train. Uh, uh, yes. And you'll also have to have some data scientists and machine learning people. And what we want to do is bring that down to $100, bring that three months down to 10 minutes. And how are we going to do that? You know, basically, how are you going to compete with Pfizer's data science team of 500 people? Well, I'll have 10,000 people. How am I going to get 10,000 people? It's using the App Store concept. Apple by itself can't actually um, build every single feature. Even Apple can't do it. So what do they do? We have the App Store concept. We have a million functions building a million features. And so this is what we're trying to do. And uh, maybe I'll just go to uh, the idea. And we charge a little bit for academics, a bit more for businesses, and a bit more for organizations to actually say, we're going to accelerate. Tell us what models you need. We'll find them, put an interface around them, and make it work. So let me look at, see how, how that uh, works right now very quickly. Um, and so we have, uh, uh, here's our app store uh, where uh, we have um, lots and lots and lots of different models, but different uh, niches. Uh, you might want to uh, uh, sort of look at this, uh, choose one of them. Uh, you can upload your own data or there's some example data given every time. You can select it and you can start uh, training. And you can run it on a CPU, GPU. Notice I've not written a single line of code. And off it goes training. I'll send you an email when it's done right. And so um, you can look at some uh, uh, finished uh, models. Uh, looking for brain tumors here. And uh, uh, it's a, um, looking for examples. Oh, there we go. Found some tumors. Uh, and the idea here is, uh, maybe you don't want to do brain tumors. Maybe you want to do uh, um, lung cancer, prostate cancer. Well, it's a different type of tissue. Brain, brain tissue is very different to uh, prostate tissue. But, you know, you, you could use this model as a start and upload your data. So this is the idea. Uh, uh, Super AI, AI incubated at uh, R42. Uh, I'll stop there. We, again, we have a little financing round. It's a very early stage company. If anyone's interested, uh, you can give me a call. Uh, I will stop there and now hand over to, uh, oh, any questions, first of all, on this topic? Yes. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, often we get bucketed in a drug discovery. Um, uh, that's why I've shown this image one. Um, but the idea is be life sciences across the field. So, yes, yeah, certainly uh, there are other domains as well. And the expectation is you know, upload data. There's like 300 data sets already uh, uh, uploaded already. And we'll, the expectation is thousands of uh, machine learning models. And then use the app store concept. People who submit them can actually get compensated. And eventually you get more sophisticated. You do a deal with a university-wide level. Uh, say, oh, we've just got this stuff lying around, not completely monetized. You can now monetize. So that's the idea around that. So. Uh, uh, it's actually trying to do, taking my app store concepts, taking my later biology concepts and merging them together. Okay. Oh, Marissa. Superbio.ai. Thank you. Yes.